Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You know, listen to the mind of an Antares Mill. I'm the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I'm going to make it a little simple to understand how to uh, tap into each dimension. Once we start to talk about the nine dimensions and how to filter through these things and how you are experiencing these things on a simultaneous level. So here go like a little sheet right here that you could kind of look at, right? And you kind of pause the picture. Right, because I'm gonna break this down. I'm getting ready to break this actually down. But you can look at this like the three heavens, and then you got the third one, which is the lower one. This, so this is gonna correlate with your lower self, right? Hold on, so let me, let me do this. So this is, is gonna correlate with your lower self, and this is the death realm, the one, two, and third dimension. This is the second dimension, right? Life realm, where you're stuck in between realms. You're stuck in between masculine femininity, or thoughts and feelings, or the dream world, or the world of the mental, the mentality. And then you have your higher self, right? This is realm one, where it's birth. So you have birth, life, death. You know what I'm saying? So then you have up here, this is birth, or your higher self, your spirit, that lack any shape and form. You know what I'm saying? Then once you come into your the double side of a version of your shape and form, this is both sides of that one coin. And then down here, you foot, you're, you become whole of both sides of those coins, a.k.a. a physical representation of what you strive to be. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind also. So we're going to break down how we actually get here, right? Now, here's the thing, right? Once we start to talk about... Well, I need to clear this off. Really. Uh, all right, now look. So first and foremost... Let's say we're starting off in the one, two, and third dimension, and you're a brand new spirit here experiencing the one, two, and third dimension. So you're coming from a zero circumference. So zero can play out. Like I say, you experience in each heaven simultaneously, but you was in one of these areas first. So you're always going to have that piece with you always, a.k.a. where you was first at as a spirit, a.k.a. you was originally your higher self. All right. Now, look, check this out. Right now, once you become aware from that zero, now you have um, a, a system. A system for your soul to represent your individuality. So you're creating a man, a woman, a thought, a feeling, a spaceship, a chakra, a wheel, a mind, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be the image of that represents your spirit. So that's always going to create a point of reference for the first time. So A, alpha, star, however you want to call it. So that would be a point where you start from. Now you're about to start building things in that space that represent no thing, which is your spirit, right? So once you create some type of reflection um, of yourself to be aware of you being a point, because you might be still unaware at this point, you just become aware, but now you're getting to being aware of yourself. It's like a simultaneous type of thing, right? So then that creates the line. So that's one, that becomes one from the zero, then that becomes two. Now you can actually see the frequency and now you can vibrate in it once you see yourself through this reflection, and that's two. And by default, that creates three. Because for you to move into another space from where you was originally at, and for you to reflect, by default, you create a parameter, a circumference in some way, shape, or form. So let me make that circle a little better. You, you create a circumference, or you create a, um, you know what I'm saying? A parameter, an actual representation. You can actually see not see, but experience a representation of how you started and bend in on yourself. And you can actually see the surroundings as something before it actually becomes something. So you can know that you are something. Right? So that would be this. So this is, let's say this is the one, two, and third dimension at the point, at this point. Because the summit is reverse when we talk about spirituality. But let me just break it down to third dimension, right? So that would be your... How you get from the one, two, and third dimension. And then that make the death realm. You see what I'm saying? Then, now you got this body from a spirit in the death realm. Now, you got to come up with your alien natures. A.K.A. fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. You know what I'm saying? So, once this heaven is made. You know what I'm saying? Once this heaven is made. Now, you're about to do the same thing you did down here. But, from a higher point of view. AKA, once you start to be aware of what you just did. So you do this again on a higher level. And I hate to use the word higher, but it's helping y'all get into a perspective. So you'll do this again. Fourth dimension, fifth dimension, then that automatically creates the surroundings of the sixth dimension. So if you had the image of yourself, your point, your individuality, ref reflecting that duality, and then that automatically creating 
a surroundings, now you're about to get alien-like. Give that a name, a title, and how you feel about that. So the first point is going to be what you think about that. Other point, how you feel about that. And therefore, you got, you got your higher interpretation and your higher spaceship now, your higher shape and form, the higher vehicle, how you see yourself down here. Now that becomes your man and woman because it's in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. It's your light. It's your vision. It's your vision of how you see yourself down here in this vehicle. See what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. So that's when you get stuck between world, indecisive, lost between thoughts and feelings, not knowing which way to go. Not knowing if you should be lost into the flesh or be going somewhere else where we're about to get ready to get into. But this is where you get lost in between realms. And this also represents purgatory, the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Now, once that realm is completed, now you can get into, if you want to say angel number, then that's getting lost in the odd concepts, how they teaching it on the motherfucking internet. But let's just say seven. Seven degrees away from separation. But at the same time, it's just... Seven energies, if y'all want to call it planets or chakras, it's not even really technically that yet in what we're talking about right now. But this is you jumping into your higher self now. See what I'm saying? Now, once you do the same thing you did down here and then did that in a higher level, I hate to use higher, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. In the alien light, that's when you become alien light, fourth and fifth dimensional light, when you have an idea or thought about what you're looking at in the third dimension. And then you have a way of reacting and responding or feeling about it in the third dimension. That's your fourth, fifth dimensional energies. And by default, when you bring these things together and, and you can see yourself through these things in the third dimension, then that's when you're sixth dimensional in some way, shape, or form. Where you, you can see yourself in all things. Or you can see what's capable for you and what's not capable for or what's not capable for you. Then you do that on the highest degree. So seven will be how you think about that, a.k.a. your higher judgment about your vision, about yourself. Higher judgment, your, you, you, this is an arch now as a spirit. Your arch above, horizon over these lower things. You're supposed to be governing these things when you're in your higher self. So now you and your seven angelic energy, right? So that would be um, you having an idea about the idea and feeling about the vision of yourself, about the idea, and I mean, about your individuality that you reflected to be an individual down here. See what I'm saying? Now, so that's seven. Then, you put time into it. You receive this vision to see if it's right or wrong. So that's eight now. You know what I'm saying? That's eight. And then by default, you have full totality and wisdom. That's nine. Now you have a vehicle up here that when that from in your higher self that can sit and see if you're doing the right thing about the thoughts and feelings that you're coming to the conclusions with when you get ready to express these things through your body down here. You see what I'm saying? So and this makes a tr your triad, not Platonism version or religious lostness with hypersthetic union and a federal head step and the head kid in my have many hot on dumbass shit. You know what I'm saying? This is how you truly understand it for yourself. And understand that this is what we all do in that spirits. And you have spirits that was once upon a time here before you. And then you have you doing here mimicking the same kind of energies in some way, shape, or form. So this is kind of like a principle that you can kind of correlate to get back here with an actual shape and form without going here and creating up here in a more lower dense form. You know what I'm saying? In a more demonic form. So that's just a little quick video real quick about to get myself together. Love y'all subconscious community. You know, for sure. <laughs>